Alright, what I'm doing is I'm going to redo his head. I'm not totally satisfied with it. So I'm going to redo it. What I did was I made a little uh, armature that I can uh, work on. And I've got this uh, aluminum wire. Now it's thicker, what I, thicker than what I need, but I figure it ain't going to hurt to have something that thick because it'll make it a lot easier to work on and... Uh, What I'm doing is I'm putting a screw into the hole next to the wire and that solidifies it in that hole temporarily while I work on it. Well, I spent several hours today doing his head and what I did was I took the old head off and redid his head because this head was too big. Uh, it was too big in proportion to the body, and I wasn't happy with it. And so I decided to uh, set up a jig, as you saw at the beginning of this uh, video, and reworked his head. And this is how it's turned out. Of course, I show how I did this uh, in my instructional DVD. And uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with the character. Uh, the, the proportions all work better, uh, especially when you get the shield on. It it kind of it it kind of becomes proportional and kind of works with it. Um, I've decided to leave his upper part of his body uh, unclothed, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to over muscular this guy because, quite honestly. He looks athletic here. If he got any more muscular, uh, like a lot of people do uh, in, uh, you know, like Hulk type characters of uh, Vikings, uh, they look like they can't really move. And I want this guy to look like he can, you know, manipulate his sword or his uh, axe and uh, take care of uh, any threat. Uh, coming to him, as you can see, his uh, head really turned out good. And it looks good from every angle. From the side there and uh, from this side here. And uh, I decided to put long hair on him and decided not to put a helmet on because a helmet would uh, cover a lot. I don't know, I just still might put a helmet on, I don't know. I'm just really at the formula, formulation of how this guy's going to look. And uh, it could change completely. Alright, that's going to be it for today. And uh, I'll come back uh, and visit this character uh, tomorrow. Well, no, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. I'm going to go for a drive tomorrow. Anyway, I'm, I'll see you guys next week. I didn't intend to work on this today, but I had uh, some ladies come visit my studio, and I figured I better look like I'm doing something, or else they'd think I was lazy. Well, that latter part may be true. <laughs> anyway, I glued these uh, sticks on. Finally, I used uh, some super glue. Uh, had to scrape away the uh, the uh, clay to get down to the uh, armature, so I could glue the uh, sticks to that. And it seems to be holding, so I'll leave it at that. And uh, I've got to reduce the thickness of uh, this uh, rawhide uh, uh, border. And uh, I got to finish the border on this side as well. Well, the figure's coming out, and I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add the uh, 
blanket or the uh, not the blanket but the robe that he wears I want to give it a feeling of wind and uh, I've got a way of doing that and I'll do that tomorrow or ne next week all right good night everybody and I'll see you next week give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs uh, the link down below this video all right, see you next time.